Hey, good morning guys, it's Trey. Welcome back to the channel. We are here in the beautiful city of Cordoba, Spain. And today we're just gonna be walking around, exploring, taking in the sights, and also taking in the incredible history of this very unique and interesting Spanish city. It is a very chilly morning as you can tell by my breath. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a jacket to Spain. I don't know what I was thinking. But at the end of the day, I am still very excited to explore this amazing city. So without further ado, stay tuned, let's get into it. Cordoba is a mesmerizing city located in the heart of the Spanish province of Andalusia. And despite being charming and beautiful, this metropolis is a very important site historically speaking. Originally settled by the Romans, then taken over by the Visigoths, and eventually occupied by the Muslims. Arguably the most important and visited place in the entire city of Cordoba is the Mesquita Catedral. This impressive structure and monument depicts some of the world's greatest examples of Moorish architecture. Upon entering this holy place, you cannot help but be utterly mesmerized by the beauty, grandeur, and sheer size of this place. It is incredible. What is truly remarkable though about this place is that besides being one of the world's largest mosques at a staggering 180 by 130 meters, the Mesquita is also a place of worship for both Muslims and Christians. Historically speaking, the addition of Christianity at the Mesquita has created quite the rift, but the worship by both religious groups continues to take place under the same roof to this very day. I have never in my life seen a site where two religions hold worship under the same roof, and it makes you think if this interesting phenomenon could indeed work in today's world. After exploring the massive Mesquita, we roam the never-ending streets of Cordoba. The food scene in Cordoba is incredible. There are Spanish delicacies literally found everywhere. We caught a whiff of something really delicious, and it turns out that the smell was emanating from an empanada shop. So of course, we ordered a bunch, and I must say, these empanadas were bomb. All right, all right, all right. Later on, we drove to the town of Benal Medina along the Costa del Sol to check out the Castillo de Colomares. Quick disclaimer, while this place stands as a monument to that scumbag Christopher Columbus, this is one of the most interesting and unique castles I have ever seen. This castle is literally straight out of a Disney fairy tale. It actually really gave me some strong Little Mermaid vibes. And despite its ancient appearance, this picturesque structure was actually built in the year 1987 and it was completed in the year 1994. Through different materials such as stone, brick, and wood, this monument tells the story of the discovery of the American continent through various scenes. Among them is a representation of the expedition's three ships and an image of Saint Salvador in honor of San Salvador Island. The architecture takes inspiration from a mixture of different styles such as the Neo-Roman, Neo-Byzantine, Neo-Gothic, and Neo-Mudejar and Neo eras. Hey, good morning guys, it's Trey. Welcome back to the channel. We are here in the mountain town of Mija, Spain. Sadly, it is our final day here in Spain, but we just wanted to explore a place that is quiet and relaxing and picturesque. And uh, we are experiencing some really cold and really rainy weather. So we wanted to stay as close to our hotel as possible, but we've had a really fun time here in Spain. I'm really excited to explore this really, really awesome, sleepy looking town. So without further ado, stay tuned, let's get into it. Mijas is arguably one of the most beautiful towns in all of Andalusia. The entire town is comprised of whitewashed buildings with little splashes of color spread throughout. There are plenty of reasons to love Mijas, but the picturesque architecture and Spanish charm are what really make this city stand out. Located at approximately 430 meters above sea level, this mountain town has stunning views of the Costa del Sol and epic weather all year long. Well, except for today, of course. Now look, I know Mijas is a very picturesque town with whitewashed buildings and very tiny streets and great food with really, really awesome Spanish hospitality. But what you really come to Mijas for is for this. These are arguably some of the greatest views in the entire Cota del Sol. I know it's a rainy day, but 
it is still such a beautiful, beautiful place. Now, I said this in an earlier video, actually when we were visiting Marbella, but I cannot get over just how smooth the roads, the sidewalks, and the pathways are here in Spain. And at first I thought it was just like a municipal thing. Like I thought it was just the city of Marbella, but then we went to Malaga and we went to Cordoba and you know, like we just, we have been to so many different cities. They are all well manicured and so smooth. And you know, we have a stroller. Our son literally is able to fall asleep by rolling over the stone, the marble, the pavement, you know, it, it's just, it's really, really awesome. And big kudos to España for taking such great care of the roads. Now, another popular destination to stop in the town of Mijas is actually right behind me, and that is the Plaza de Toros. We are going to go in just because we have been here in Spain and we have yet to step inside of a bull ring. This one is very small and very intimate. It has a lot of history. Probably just spend maybe like five or so minutes in there, get a little bit of footage. All right, we are gonna head in here and check it out. Built during the year 1900 at the request of the townsfolk living in Mijas, the Plaza del Toros has very much wound itself into the fabric of Mijas. Many matadors have gone toe to toe with hundreds of thousands of bulls for well over a century. And believe it or not, they still host bull fights here at this legendary venue to this very day. Now, despite the bad reputation bullfighting has garnered around the world, the bulls here are actually not dispatched after the events. We've walked by some pretty huge bullfighting venues during our time in Spain, but this one was by far the smallest and most intimate that we have seen. But we love that aspect of it. Now I know why Spain is such a clean country. Check out the fine for allowing your dog to poop wherever it wants. Insane, but totally understandable. We then continued our walking tour of Mijas, taking in the beauty and splendor of this stunning town. And of course, we had to stop and order some freshly roasted nuts because they just smelled so good. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for us here in Mijas. Really, really stunningly beautiful mountainous town. I am really sad to leave because it's really, really relaxing up here. Like, I don't know if it's the higher elevation, you know, I don't know if it's the weather, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it feels really good to be here. And it could be because, you know, my ancestors come from Spain. I, I, I really don't know what it is. I am sad to leave, but we are gonna go check out another place next. So this isn't the end of the video, so stay tuned and let's get into it. We headed 65 kilometers west to the town of Estapona to check out the amazing array of plant life at the Orchidarium. This massive botanical garden has staked its claim as having the largest collection of plant species in all of Europe. And a few seconds of walking through this gigantic space will easily confirm that. There are 5,000 plants and 1,300 different species found within this stunning space. I can assure you that you will most definitely find your favorite plant or flower somewhere within this enormous ecological haven. What really makes this place stand out though is the huge 30 meter high continuous waterfall. The Orchidarium does a phenomenal job of immersing you and making you feel like you are thousands of miles away from Spain and some lush remote tropical rainforest or jungle around the world. This place is awesome. guys that is gonna do it for us really sad to see our time here in Spain in but I'm glad we got a chance to really explore the south coast of Spain as always thank you guys for the continued love and support if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up as it helps the channel in a number of ways and as always YouTube thank you mahalo for watching